Hey, what is up guys, I'm KBHD here, and welcome to a new version of Android, already. This is Android P. Uh, it's one of those incremental updates. Again, new letter versions aren't those like massive drastic changes anymore like they used to be back in the day. Uh, but that makes sense when they've been refining Android for so long, they're kind of tweaking things at this point. But that's never stopped us, and we have the developer preview on this Pixel 2, and it's worth noting that there are some actually pretty cool new things. So these are the five biggest new feature changes to Android P. So number one is the new visuals. And there's just a couple smaller things. It's just a general look and feel of a few tweaks. Uh, you might not even notice them if I didn't point them out, but first of all, the clock is over to the left corner now. It used to be on the right. And still, it changes color. If you have a dark wallpaper, it'll be a light clock. If you have a light wallpaper, it'll be dark. And that's also along with all the buttons on the bottom, the date, and the weather. The app drawer also now has this more defined dock instead of a gradient shade behind it. So it's more obvious. I think that may affect the way people make their wallpaper choice, but again, it's obviously pretty minor. You might not notice. But then the biggest main thing is these quick settings up at the top here. Everything is, first of all, in these circles now. It's this blue and white look, and really what you're gonna notice is this is definitely part of a larger theme here. If you pay attention, you're gonna start to notice a lot of rounded corners and smoothed off edges in Android P. So number two is those quick settings. And this is one of those things in Android that they always seem to tweak in like every new version. They can't really make up their mind on how they want it to look. So they've changed it again here. So they have, like I said, these circles for everything. Uh, and the new blue and white look, that's also new with the color. And then now if you have enough quick settings, it's this vertically scrolling list now instead of a left to right paginated UI. And it has, you know, this big obvious bar at the bottom. So it's generally a little bit cleaner uh, and more obvious where things are at. You know what I don't like though, is you can't long press to expand these toggles anymore. And I get that quick settings are supposed to be quick, it's just a one press toggle, but that was really useful. If you had a bunch of Wi-Fi networks and you long pressed, you could get in and explore them, or a bunch of Bluetooth devices. That's gone for some reason here, I don't like that. So if you long press any of the settings in Android P here, it just does what it did in older versions of Android, which is just take you back into the menu. Uh, all right, so number three, is the new volume controls. This is definitely my favorite change so far. So first of all, pressing the volume buttons adjusts the media volume by default, so that's pretty sweet. And then you can see here it's in this bar over at the side. Now it's out of the way instead of that huge thing across the top. Uh, it goes up and down instead of left to right, so now it matches the volume button on the phone, which is cool. I think it could probably be a little bit smaller. Just this, this whole bar UI is pretty big for just the volume, but overall, I like it being over here now. And then there's this button at the bottom to switch between ringer modes, so vibrate or silent or volume on. And then that arrow at the top is to view your connected devices. So if you have some Bluetooth speakers, or if it's connected to your wireless headphones, or your car Bluetooth or something, they'll all show up here. So I'm, I'm a fan of this layout. And then number four is the new settings app. And again, this is one of those things that seems to change in every new letter of Android, but they've changed it again here. So with Android P, they got some color in there. All the, the icons are big, round, colorful circles on the side. Uh, but it's not too cartoonish. I mean, every icon is a different color, but then you get into the actual settings menus and they look the same as they were before, so it's pretty clean. And then up top, again, you'll notice the settings search bar is this super huge, rounded, I don't know, it seems like they've rounded every single corner possible. Mixed feelings about this generally. I think it could look cleaner with rectangles, but hey, that's the way we're going. And then number five, last but certainly not least, is notch support and the developer preview. Uh, it's, it's a little more of an indication of our future than it is a feature. So if you go into settings and display and themes, there is actually a couple different themes that simulate a notch at the top of the phone. And so this is so developers can see what their app would look like on a phone that actually has a notch so they can see what the behavior looks like and make sure everything still works and it's laid out properly. So there's a small narrow notch at the top like the essential phone might have or a medium one, or even the big unibrow one like the iPhone 10 has. So obviously it's, it's weird to have a virtual notch cut out in the top of a phone that already has bezels, but again, this is a developer preview and this is a tool for developers to make their apps to support the phones that we know are coming that have notches in them. Remember, there's already some Android phones coming out, including the ones that already exist, with a notch in the top. Does this embracing the notch mean Pixel 2 will have a notch? No but it also doesn't mean Pixel won't have a notch. I don't know, that's just kind of where we're at right now. Welcome to 2018. But yeah, that's the main gist of it. Those are the top five. I told you it was a small update, but uh, in case you're curious, here are a couple of other interesting things worth noting that are also pretty useful. So when you have rotation lock on in Android P 
and you rotate the display anyway, it'll give you a little button in the corner just in case you want to manually rotate what you're doing this one time. That is handy. You can now mark up screenshots as soon as you take them. That's built in. So I guess pretty much exactly what iOS just started doing now, but it's a welcome addition. Battery saver mode can now be toggled on automatically at any battery percentage between five and 70%. So for those of you who get paranoid with a half battery, this will make you a little happier. And there's also now something called lockdown mode, which essentially will just disable your fingerprint reader and any other smart unlock method until you put in your pattern or pin again. Seems pretty pointless, but if someone could, in theory, walk up behind you and put your finger on the fingerprint and run away, they could get away with your info unless you have locked on mode on. So again, for those of you who are paranoid. Oh, and text selection now has a sweet zoom lens, which lets you more precisely select text. That is awesome. And also an important behind the scenes change is that background apps cannot use the microphone or camera anymore or any of the sensors for that matter in Android P. We'd always wanted that to be a thing that we could individually control, but now that's an OS wide thing. Again, if we're paranoid, we shouldn't be with Android P. Android paranoid, is that the new, probably not. But that's basically it. Those are your, your main changes with Android P. Um, mostly those little visual tweaks. I, I think I like the changes for the most part, except for I think those circles are gonna take me some time to get used to. As far as the naming goes, we don't know what the P stands for yet. My money is on pep. Look at this Easter egg. How could it not be peppermint with all those swirls in the Easter egg? It's gotta be. Anyway, I'm gonna link an Android police post below. They do a great job of tearing through new versions of Android when they come out and digging through the code and finding literally every single new feature, whether it's been enabled or not. So if you're interested in the little stuff, I'll link that below the like button. But that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think of the big stuff, the new stuff. Thanks for watching. Talk to you in the next one. Peace.